Hey guys, it's Nat McFly and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about cutting my own hair and learning how to work the cutting shears and all that good stuff. So stay right here and let's slide right in. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, once I cut my hair, I did it myself and then you guys know I went to a barber the next day just to get it evened out because I did it with shears. I didn't do it with like my actual uh, cutting barber tools. I didn't have that yet. I wasn't thinking that yet. So went to the barber shop, got my hair cut. It was cool. I felt like there were like some things I could have touched up a little better and then also my hair grew within like the next week and a half so then I needed another $20 to get my hair cut. Not that that's bad but I just felt like as I've always felt that why pay someone to do it when I can do it myself just as good if not better. So you know me, I get to doing my Googles and I watched a few people um, cut their hair like Alyssa Ashley and um a few other YouTubers i seen cut their own hair. Uh, I don't, the crazy thing is I start to watch it and then I skip through it like, oh, I can do this, I can do this. I know I can do this. And then I went on Amazon and I seen that Amazon had like a kit with 12 different, um, 12 different guards. So for different lengths, it came with the actual um, razor and just a whole little kit. So I ordered this, I believe this was like, it was either $12 or like $9. But I really think it was probably like $12.99 or something like that with free shipping because you know I got Amazon Prime. But boom, so it comes like this. So the process was I Googled it, YouTubed it, found out it's what I want to do. Felt like, hmm, this is something I could do. My dad is also a barber. So I was like, worst case scenario, I can FaceTime my dad. He can kind of talk me through it, let me know the guards, all that kind of stuff. So in my kit, it came with a comb, the actual thing, and then a whole bunch of different like guards of cutting shears. Uh, oil and the little brush oh the little brush to brush oil on there and there's like a little guide in here I haven't used the guide but it's one in here let's see the first time I cut my hair I used a five I believe which is five eighths 16 millimeters that was like the first length when I cut my hair this length here that I cut my hair with initially I cut it down with the four this orange color 13 millimeters and then I followed up with the three 10 millimeters to get it super short all the way around and even I like to go down stage by stage gradually instead of just like jumping down to the shortest one I need because it just makes sure that I'm taking them off like layer by layer it's important to oil your blades once you get them and just let them run for a little bit. My dad tells me every time I turn them on to just oil them for a second and just let the oil run on it. Um, just because they are blades, it is metal, it's razor, you want some oil between that before you go letting it cut your hair. jump right in it's like mowing a lawn you just want to make sure you stay um, in rows you don't want to repeat the same part too many times and you also don't want to miss too many areas but also there's a guard on there so you won't go too short as long as you are using the guard and going with the direction of the hair not the opposite direction um, because you will definitely cut off way more than you expect
better than I expected. I was worried that I was still wasn't going to be able to get it as even as I wanted it in the back. But luckily, I work out my little two mirror situation and it just works for me. I guess it's really not that bad because if it's uneven, then you can't really tell because it's short and I just cut it, you know. And if there's ever a piece that I feel like is too long or a little spiky sticking out, I just take my shears and just cut it. Um, I just feel very free with this hair and cutting my own hair feels really good. I don't really trust people to do my hair as you guys know that's why I've always done my own hair um so this was just another thing that I felt like learn how to do it yourself and look at me learn how to do it myself I feel like this is on the difficulty task I will say on a scale of one to five five being the most difficult this is definitely like a three and a half I'm a, yeah, like a three and a half, because if your hair is short, then you can't really mess up that bad, like, unless you got, like, some, I don't think you can mess up that bad. Three and a half. <laughs> you can parse your hair, you can see the back of your head, you're someone who feels like you can do your entire head, then I definitely believe that you can cut your own hair. If you're someone who is a little more hesitant or not as uh, coordinated and can't see the back of your head or you know can't seem to figure it out, just pay the 20, go get your hair cut. It's really not that big of a deal. I went in there with pictures and I was just like, hey, this is kind of what I want it to look like. I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I'm going for. This is a little, and then I showed him one that was like a little too short. And I was like, this one, too short. But also remember my hair is, is straight. Well, it was picked out. So you have to remember that once it's curly, it'll be shorter. So uh, once I let him know that, it, he just handled it. Like I said, he did a really good job, but I always feel like I could do better. So I did. <laughs> All that to say, I've enjoyed cutting my own hair. I love you guys. This has been a good update video and how I cut my own hair. So love you guys and I will catch you in my next video.